Hey, Sam Highland here and welcome to my studio. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to generate leads for an agency. So if you're an agency and you need leads, keep watching. So you need leads. Everyone needs leads. So it makes no difference, you know, who you are. You still need leads because you need customers. You need to make sales. So what type of agency are you? First of all, you need to understand, are you serving a particular geographical area? Are you serving your local area? Do you want to build a reputation as an authority uh, in your field within that area, or do you just need clients? So once you've understood whether you want to be an authority or not, whether you want to create a brand, or whether you just need clients, then you can go from that point there and decide, well, hang on a sec, if I want to build a brand, then I'm gonna do a lot of social media marketing, I'm gonna build up the social flat platform, so, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube, or am I just going to be, you know, looking for customers straight off the bat, targeting people directly? That's probably going to be some sort of paid advertising, maybe uh, showing up on adverts on Google for people who are searching for a particular topic, or Facebook advertising, or possibly, uh, you know, if it's a B two B client, maybe a LinkedIn service. So there's so many different types of platforms available to generate leads. What we're gonna do now is gonna look at the types of lead generation that I use, explain a bit about them, and then we can look which one is gonna be best for you and for your agency. I'm gonna try and condense like the anatomy of lead generation in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna try and burn through it really, really quickly. Okay? so. You've got different types of lead generation. You've got, you've got paid versus free, which is basically um, le quick versus uh, slow or um, done for you. So done for you versus done by you, okay? So that's pretty, kind of explains itself anyway. If you're doing paid advertising, you're gonna get results quicker. Um, it's gonna be implemented by somebody else and you don't have to do it yourself. Whereas if it's a free type of advertising, free type of lead generation, it's probably gonna be slower um, it's going to be done by you, but yet you don't have to pay money for it. So that's the advantages and the disadvantages of paid versus free. Okay, now you've got your free types of lead generation, which are basically going to be your content type of marketing. So you've got your content marketing, which is obviously your, you've got Facebook, you've got YouTube, you've got, if you're a B2B business, LinkedIn, um, you've got Instagram, and, and amongst others, but they're, they're the main ones, okay? When it comes to uh, advertising and, and paid marketing, the main types you're gonna have are gonna be uh, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, you're gonna have maybe Google ads, um, and then mixed in with all of that, of course, you've got content marketing. So content marketing is gonna be publishing on your, move over here a bit, on your website. Um, then you can obviously create groups, and those groups can be on Facebook, on LinkedIn, 
You can create your obviously YouTube channel where you're creating videos. So that's pretty much lead generation. Now I want to move into the strategies, the types of strategies and the types of ways you can then generate leads and the, the differences between the types of lead generation. So of course, the next question is, which type of lead generation is best for me? And that really depends on your needs, but I'm just gonna go over them now. And really depending on how you wanna position yourself, whether you wanna position yourself as an authority figure, as somebody that um, people can look up to and you can generate leads that way, as well as some sort of paid lead generation strategy to start getting results quicker while you're building up your reputation as an authority figure within your niche, okay? So what, this is what I do, and this is what I would suggest you to do if, for example, you're wanting to become an authority figure, okay? If you're, you're wanting to say, look, follow me, I know what I'm doing, and generate leads that way uh, by helping others, okay? Um, so the first thing you want to do is create yourself a Facebook page. Create yourself a Facebook page as a public figure, as your brand, um, as what, however you want to do it, Facebook page, okay? You might have your separate page and your Facebook uh, you know, business page. The next thing you can do is create your YouTube account and upload videos and help people with videos by creating content that's gonna help them. The next thing you can do is to have your website. Now, WS, we'll call it website. And you can upload and create content that can go on your website, blogs and things like that. Now, with these, th with these three, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. I don't know if you have a website already, or if you have a YouTube, maybe your company has a YouTube channel already. But if you're starting from the beginning, it's going to take time. It's going to take time for your content to get ranked so it can be found in the search engines when people search for a particular keyword. Keyword, like how to get more leads, how to uh, build a business, whatever niche you're in, how, where, where to buy footballs, whatever that is, whatever that niche you're involved, okay? So you've got those three areas. Now, what I like to do is use a combination of all three. And I also like to include in there Instagram. Now, I don't know if you're a fan of Instagram or not, but all of these networks have their advantages and their disadvantages. Now, with YouTube, you can create videos and people can learn from you but you can send them to your Instagram and say, hey, come and check out my Instagram. And on Instagram, they can just find out more about your daily life. So it builds trust. From Instagram, you can send them maybe to uh, your website and you know, to go and say, well, check out the latest blog that I've written. Now, how do you, how do you generate leads from these areas? You're writing blogs, you're creating videos, you're doing all that, but how do you actually generate leads? Well, what you need to do is you need to have some sort of funnel. Now, it's a sales funnel. It's, I'm running over through these things very, very quickly, but basically a sales funnel is a, a way of capturing their information. You've probably seen them a million times on, on, uh, on websites, you know, enter your email, your best phone number, whatever, depending on what it is that your, your goal is. You might want to get their phone number if you're trying to maybe give them a call and, and try and uh, sell them a service. You might just want the email address. Standard is definitely e name and email. Because what you're doing then is you're building a list. You're building a list, an email list, of people who are interested in your offer. Now, how do you get people to subscribe? Well, usually you give something away for free. So let's say uh, you're in the sports industry, you could give away a guide, 
you know, this isn't very targeted at all, just off the top of my head, but a, a guide to playing football better or um, best football boots to wear uh, on a certain type of grass or whatever that industry is. But basically, something you're going to give away that's going to be interesting to the person you're targeting. The same with the content that you create. You want to be creating content that your target audience is interested in. You also want to be searching using a keyword tool. Now this is probably going already like way too far ahead. But you want to use a keyword tool to find out what, what keywords people are searching for, the amount of competition, if it's going to be difficult to rank for, if it's not going to be difficult, if it's worth trying to go for that keyword. But this is all content marketing. So content marketing is a great way to build up your authority, capturing information, capturing emails, enabling you to follow up with an autoresponder, an automated follow-up of emails, an automated series of emails that follows up with uh, your potential clients, with your leads that you've generated. Maybe sending them on the email one, maybe you'll send them to YouTube to check out a video. Maybe on email two, you'll send them to your Instagram page to see your daily work day and well, what you've been doing at work. Uh, maybe email uh, four, you'll take them to your website to check out a blog. And once they get in this cycle of being on these different platforms with you, what that's doing is that's building trust. So you can set up a sales funnel which can connect to your YouTube account, which can connect to your Instagram, it can connect to your website, to your Facebook, and even to your LinkedIn account if you're in B2B marketing. So that's how that part works. So the next thing you want to look at is paid. Now people get scared of paid. They say, oh paid, you know, I'm just throwing my money out there. As we've looked at already, the benefits of paid are it's quicker, um, and it's done for you. And all you're doing really is you're using the resources and the knowledge of somebody else. It's like, for example, if you, uh, uh, people say, well, what, what type of paid advertising should I do? What, what's the best? You don't need to worry about that. If you're, fine, if you're going to use an agency that's going to um, generate leads for you, then you don't need to worry about the best, best type for you. They're going to tell you what the, what the best type is for you based on your industry. As long as you know your target audience, who you want to target, then the agency should be able to take it from there. It's like if you're going to have your office cleaned. My office really needs, my studio is, is a nightmare right now. It needs cleaning. I'm not going to worry about what type of cleaning materials, what kind of floor soaps or, do you know what I mean? I don't even know because I trust that the cleaning service and the cleaning providers will do that and will make, make the right choices. So when you're doing paid advertising, you don't need to worry whether, you, whether Facebook ads is the best source for you or whether YouTube ads are the best source for you or whether if you're in a B2B marketing, whether um, a B2B kind of LinkedIn, which is a service that we offer B2B, um, done for you, a lead generation service on, B, you know, on, on, on LinkedIn, whether that's the right option for you. The agency should know what the best option is for you. So you can either, you know, you can get an agency to set everything up for you, or you can do the other stuff yourself, the content, as you're positioning yourself as an authority within your niche. And you can get an agency to do the paid advertising because they're going to know which source is best. An agency should offer some sort of guarantee. Now, people always worry, and you know, I have this with every customer, okay? They worry about the price. Now, the price with lead generation is not the issue. The return on the investment is the issue, okay? People, you know, you people have, you get people that say, oh, I, want, I want cheap lead generation service. I just want to pay £100 and get a lead and get leads. Well, for £100, you're going to get rubbish leads. You're going to buy a list of emails that have been, you know, given to everybody and anybody. 
you want a specialized done for you lead generation service which is targeted to you, to your business, to your specific offer, um, then you want a lead generation service done by an agency because you're using their, you're putting your faith in them. But, and I say this again, but, the problem is that people all get really worried about the price. And as I said, it's about the return on the investment. People may, you know, will think, well, let's say for an example that the service costs £2,000, okay, £2,000. And people think, £2,000? £2,000? I can't risk £2,000 on a service. Now, as I've talked about already, it's about return on investment. So if you invest £2,000 and you're you generate from that £2,000, say, 50 leads. Doesn't matter what, what area you, whether it's on Facebook or LinkedIn, that, that shouldn't really affect you. Generating 50 leads, quality targeted leads to your offer. You spent £2,000. Now, let's say your uh, customer is worth £5,000. Just for example, £5,000. If you know the value of your customer, it's worth £5,000. You get 50 leads. If you sell one in five, one in five, so that's 10, 10 times five, so you're looking at 50,000 profit, yes? You've put two up front. But you've got an ROI of, you know, I don't even know what the percentage is, it's huge. 50,000 to two. Now, obviously, the, the numbers aren't exact. It's going to vary depending on what business you have, what, what, who your target audience is. What's the main reason that people say, I don't want to spend the money? It's because of fear. It's because of fear, it's because they don't believe themselves in their ability to sell the offer or the service that they're selling. It's not about trusting me or trusting an agency to deliver the results because agencies know what platform is gonna be best for your business. I've done this a thousand times most of them will guarantee results. So it comes down to you usually not having the faith in yourself to close the, the deals or that your service is what you think it is or it probably is what you think it is and maybe not good enough. So where does this leave you? Combination, combination. Authority, become an authority in your niche. Do a combination of both paid and um, free and have an agency. Put your faith in the agency. Hopefully that cleared up a few things up. Comment below if you want to get in contact with me and see what our agency can do for you. No problem, free consultation. We'll have a chat, see if we're a good fit, see if we can you know, generate those results for you. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.